Hey friends, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today we're making easy slow cooker ribs. These ribs are so tender, flavorful, and they fall right off the bone. All ingredients and measurements for this recipe will be in the description box. Let's get started. We're using spare ribs for this recipe. You can also use baby back ribs. I cut my ribs into two equal halves, that way they can fit in my slow cooker. First, you're going to turn your ribs over, then remove the thick membrane that's over this side. The membrane can prevent the ribs from absorbing flavor, so it's always a good idea to remove it. Once the membrane is removed, make sure you use a paper towel to pat the meat completely dry. Once the meat is patted dry, we're going to season it with some spices. I'm adding some brown sugar into an empty bowl. I'm also adding some chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, some dried thyme, salt, and black pepper. I'm going to mix everything together, then season both sides of the ribs with the spices. Make sure you pat the spices into the meat, that way they can stick very well. I'm going to turn the ribs over, then season the other side as well. Once the ribs are very well seasoned, you're going to place one half into your slow cooker. Then you're going to pour some barbecue sauce all over it. Use a brush to evenly spread the barbecue sauce over the ribs. Place the other half of the ribs on top of the first one, then pour some more barbecue sauce over it. Once this is done, cover the slow cooker with the lid. Then slow cook the ribs for 8 hours on low. When the ribs are done slow cooking, they're going to look so delicious and flavorful. This is going to make your house smell so divine. Be gentle when taking this out of the slow cooker because it's so tender it might fall apart. The ribs came out extremely tender, they fall right off the bone. You can enjoy the ribs as they are, or you can take the bones out, shred the meat, then put it in a sandwich. Just look at all that tender goodness. These ribs came out so delicious. If you guys would like to make them, check the description box. I'll leave all the ingredients and measurements there. 